Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Jason here. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and putting together um, this media shelf that I got from Amazon. This is called the Pre-Pack Triple Width Barrister Tower Storage Cabinet. Uh, I will also put a link to this in the description in case you're interested. Uh, if you do click the link and order it, I do get a small little commission from Amazon and I would greatly appreciate it. You get it for the same exact price through my link as you will Amazon. At the filming of this video, um, right now on Amazon, it is this item is $252.99. With some of the reviews that I've read, it's, they say it takes about two hours to put it together by yourself, and they say it holds over 600 DVDs. So we'll calculate all that once I get it put together, and we'll kind of get into a little in-depth in review. So I'm not gonna video everything, but I do wanna unbox it real quick and give y'all a view of what's inside. So let me unbox it and then I'll be right back. Okay, just a heads up, there are two boxes that are actually shipped with the shelving system. The first box, which you saw a second ago, the long box, uh, it came in uh, one day and then the very following day, this box came in. Um, this box contains all your shelving. So if you order one of these, you're liable to get the main unit the first day and then all your shelves will come in the second day. Just want to give you the heads up. All right, so a few things I want to tell you about before I actually open the box. This was delivered by, I believe it was either UPS or FedEx, can't remember which one. It was left at my front door. This box is almost six foot long and it feels like it weighs like 100 pounds. I don't, I don't know the exact weight of it, but it's definitely very heavy. So let me uh, get it unboxed. All right, so here's what it looks like before I take it out of the box. Looks like everything arrived okay. You see this down here like oh no it's chipped but it's not it's just a little bit of a little bit of dust that can be that can be wiped off so looks like it made it in one piece so let me get everything out and i'll be right back all right i got everything out of the box laid on the floor um so we know what we have to work with there is all the hardware there's a good bit of hardware the instructions actually have a phone number on it you can call i guess if you get stuck during the uh the build process so all right now it's time to dive in all right so she is all put together ready to pack the shelf with some media um, I will tell you a few things um, it I, I ended up getting a second person to help me out because there's a lot of things you need a couple of extra hands on so if you have a second person that can help you that's great um, they do send you this black marker and I'll show you why there's gonna be there's gonna be some areas like this right here, where it uh, was a little bit chipped. So we'll just do this together, see how good this works. I mean, it's not too bad, especially after it dries. So they send you this little like furniture marker so you can kind of touch up any little imperfections. Most of it, there's not very many. Um, luckily, everything uh, went together pretty well. So what I'm gonna do, what I did is due to this overhang, I came down to the third peg here. You count, so the way I did the rest of my shelves, you count one, two, three, four, five, and you put pegs on the sixth, and I did that all the way down. And I did that because it fits Blu-rays perfectly on the sixth peg. Now, one thing that other people have mentioned, um, it's hard to see the very first movie um, because of the lip um, of this side piece. And same thing in the middle. So you can put a, a DVD right there and then all your Blu-rays will stick out. But especially on this middle piece, you can't even see the last um, movie. So really you'd probably just want it in the, in the center because the side over here, you can still see your movie. So probably wanna put a blank DVD uh, disc right there so that won't happen. Uh, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some Blu-rays in here. We're gonna fill up one of them, and then we're gonna see how many Blu-rays, if you had Blu-rays only, uh, this cabinet would hold. So let's do that. Okay, so we have 24 total spaces throughout the entire cabinet. You can fit 35 Blu-rays without slip covers. This would be the same thing for your 4Ks without slips. You can fit 35 Blu-rays in here without slips. Now, again, the one at the very end, you can definitely still see it. So I don't know that a DVD is that necessary. You just have to walk a little bit this way. So you get 35 on one shelf. So once you multiply that between the 24 shelves, that will come out to 840 Blu-rays. That's a lot of Blu-rays for this shelf. Again, remember, no slip covers, no steel books. 35 uh, cased 
uh, Blu-rays. So, all right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the review on the media cabinet behind me. Uh, again, if you do want to order one of these, please use my link below. I'm very happy with it. It seems seems extremely sturdy. The cosmetically, it looks great. So, I'm definitely happy that I went with this one behind me. Now, I got to spend a few hours to get all my media on there. <laughs> if you have any questions, please be, be sure to leave it below in the comments. And also, if you will, smash that thumbs up button. Show me that uh, you're enjoying the video content. I appreciate everybody watching. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.